It is Bang Mary Kill, ladies edition, Valentine's style. Hello and welcome back or welcome if this is your first time. My name is Jill Maurer and today I am here with Sarah Tudor. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a graphic designer and photographer. She's not just a graphic designer and photographer. She's an awesome graphic designer and <laughs> photographer. Sarah is the reason that Jill Maurer and Maurer Limited are branded so well and look so good. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play Bang, Mary Kill and today is Valentine's Day. I did this before with Artemis and it was a lot of fun and a lot of you liked it, so I decided that I would con Sarah into playing with me. So we'll see how it goes. I'm ready. All right, <laughs> so I have my okay. mine on the, in this little cup, and what do you have? I've got mine in this little cup. Which makes me feel so good, because Artemis was so high tech about everything. Oh no. So we'll switch now. Who goes first? You get to go first, you're okay. the guest. All right, so Carrie Bradshaw, Samantha Jones, and Miranda Hobbs. Hmm. Okay, so if you don't know, those are Sex and the City characters. Yes, which I've seen probably four times through all of the seasons. Oh. So this is a good one for me. I would say that I would kill Miranda. Easy. Okay. Bang Samantha. Easy. And marry Carrie. Okay. Yeah. So you would marry Carrie over... Why was why was kill Miranda so easy? Because Miranda's annoying. I don't know. I feel like she would have... I think she would have your back. I just think that we might clash. You know, she's just like really particular and uh, I could be really particular. particular yeah, and, you're both strong yeah. characters. Yeah. I actually like Miranda a lot. Carrie might drive me nuts because she can get kind of um, flaky and flighty a little bit. That's true, that's true. But but this is this is your But your Samantha choice. definitely. That's Duh. what you do that's with what, Samantha. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Alrighty, okay. Ooh, these are like on note paper, like in grade school. Oh yeah, handwritten. And everything. it's handwritten. Oh nice. All right, so here we go. Stephen Colbert, John Stewart, and Jimmy Fallon. Ooh. Mm. Well, this one is easy for me. I'm so upset with John Stewart. So upset because he he got married and. He never did, he didn't ask me. Oh, rude. You know, we would be married if he had just asked or even met me. So <laughs> I'm going to go with Jon Stewart, who is really, I feel, supposed to be the love of my life. And I think I'm going to kill Stephen Colbert. Sorry about that. Agreed. And bang Jimmy Fallon. I think Jimmy Fallon would be fun. I think that's a strong choice. Okay. I can accept that. All right, here we go. This is Game of Thrones, which is my favorite show as well as everyone else on the planet's favorite show. <laughs> All right, so our characters are Jon Snow, who is just, let's just say he used to be the background on my phone for about a year. So the next one is Khal Drogo, who is super, super hot, but he was, I don't know, the way he treated Khaleesi just wasn't the best. And the third one is Joffrey, and Joffrey is probably the most hated character on television, I would say. So we're definitely gonna kill Joffrey. I'm gonna bang Call Call Drogo and marry Jon Snow, for sure. Nice, now I have a confession to make. Uh-oh. I haven't seen Game of Thrones. No! I don't have HBO, I really wanna see Game of Thrones. And I will tell you that when people come to trade shows and they mm -hmm. see my jewelry all lined up in the cases, mm -hmm. the first thing they ask me is, oh, you must be a Game of Thrones fan based on my jewelry. Girl, you gotta watch it. I know I do. I mean, it's worth it just for Jon Snow. Okay. Yeah, trust me. And and Khal Drogo, actually, but he's only in the first few seasons. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my turn. Let's see, let's see. Who do we have? Britney Spears, Adele, and Rihanna. I'm gonna kill off Britney Spears. Ooh, okay. I like her, but she is, you just never know who you're gonna get. That's fair. That's <laughs> accurate. And this would be an important moment because it would either be a, a marriage or a, or, a bang. Or so a bang. yeah, she's gone. All right, I'm gonna marry Adele. Ugh. What was that? Adele is just annoying. Like, quit singing about your ex-boyfriend. Like, get over it. Move on. Sing about something new. Okay. Just personal, personal feelings. <laughs> I love her voice. I love her talent. I think she's great. I just think, I think that Adele would be a lot of fun in real life. 
actually. If, if she, okay. yeah. as long as all she's right. getting all the boyfriend stuff out of her system. Yeah, yeah. And then a Rihanna would be fun. Yeah, you gotta bang Rihanna. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so this is from another one of my favorite shows, The Walking Dead. This show has been on for so long and I've watched every season and most people kind of fall off by like season three or four, but. Not Sarah. <laughs> I just like, me and my dad watch this show together. So it's just like kind of the thing we bond over. I'm just like attached to the characters. It's like a, it's like a zombie soap opera, honestly. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, Sarah has a very sort of how do you put how do you put this like the like the sort of like gritty grim you, you know like you can get she's got a watch out. I like spooky <laughs> things. <laughs> so our characters here are Rick Grimes, who is the main character of the show, and then you've got Negan, who's a more recent character, but he's definitely a villain. We don't like Negan. And then there's Daryl Dixon, who is just like the bad boy sweetheart of the show that everybody loves. I think I see how this is going. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna kill Negan. Which, <laughs> bye bye. Hint, they should have done like two seasons ago. Come on. <laughs> Don't worry, Maggie, I would have killed Negan for you. I can't decide if I wanna marry Rick Grimes. He's kind of like, I don't know, he can be up and down, but he is pretty loyal. So I think I'd go with Rick because he'd probably be better like at just nurturing, you know, than Daryl Dixon. But he'd probably be really good at the bang, so. <laughs> okay. Gonna bang, Daryl Dixon. Done. <laughs> Done. Okay. Okay, now it's me. Let's All see. Right. Here we go. Who do we have? Men! Woohoo! Well, one. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> okay, these are from friends. We have Ross, Phoebe, and Monica. Ross, Phoebe, and Monica. <laughs> Tried to make this one challenging for you. I didn't want to put all the, like, favorites. Yeah. Not to say that they're not favorites, but. I have to kill Ross. <laughs> <laughs> You'd kill Ross over Phoebe? I'm trying to save Ross. Okay, let me see. All right, I'll kill Phoebe. Okay. Cause she could sing, holy cow. Smelly cat. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm gonna kill Phoebe and I'm definitely gonna marry the most masculine, which is Monica, of course. Definitely, definitely. And plus she's a great cook, that's all good. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then I'll bang Ross, which as long as he doesn't get too whiny, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, you'll you'll survive it. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we've got some, some male characters from Sex and the City. So our characters are Steve Brady, which is Miranda's uh, Lover, baby daddy. Right. Uh, big, of course. And then Jerry Jared. Smith. Mm -hmm. And he's he's quite the looker. Mm -hmm. So I think Steve is really annoying, but I also can never forgive Big for like being such a loser and just like leaving Carrie at the altar. Um, so I'm gonna have to say, this is a really tough one. <laughs> Steve you, is, you, you were right there with the women, you had a plan. This is I just, I want to, can I do kill, kill, bang? <laughs> <laughs> is that an option? <laughs> There's not one keeper in the bunch, is what, no, no, no you are going to spend the All rest right. of your life until you pull again out of that cup All right. with one of these guys. Okay, Steve Brady, gonna kill him. Sorry, sorry, Miranda, you and your husband are gonna be off the show. I'm gonna bang big, cause that could be fun, but I could never marry someone who is such a jerk and only thinks about himself. And I guess I'm gonna marry Jerry Jared. Sounds good. Who are you? I know. That just sounds hard. awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> that was a tough one. That was, that was pretty hard. That, see, I think he stuck with her all through the cancer. He was good. I mean, I think he's great. I would I would be all about him. Plus, he's fun to look at. Yeah, he's great to look at. My, you know when you marry him, you get to bang him too. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, my turn. We have Kevin Bacon, Rob Lowe, and James Spader. Now, let's think about this. I'm gonna kill off James Spader, so sorry. I really like both Rob Lowe and Kevin Bacon, and what I do know about both of these guys, not only are they very, very good looking, both mm -hmm. of them, but they have both been married for a long time. Like, these okay. are both good, loyal, like, great husbands, mm -hmm. happy wives types of guys. So this is rough, but I like Kevin Bacon's smile. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna marry Kevin Bacon. Okay. I'm gonna bang Rob Lowe. Sounds good. And Rob, you know, I do it more than once. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like we've got a few Justins on the, the list Justin here. The Justin Club. The Justin Club, which is weird because my brother's name is also Justin. Not on the list. Not on the list. All right, so the first contender is Justin Timberlake, which, I mean, come on. And he, him and his wife just seem so happy and they're never like in the news with drama. They're just like low key and chill. And, he just... and there's abs involved. And there's abs, I mean, come on. And then there's Justin Bieber, which, you know, 
I, I kind of liked his most recent album, or at least that song, Sorry. That was good. Mm-hmm. But his like look, it's just like, I don't really know what it is, and I'm not here for it. And then there's Justin Long, who is just kind of adorable. He's yeah. just really sweet. So I think I'm going to kill Justin Bieber, because I don't think he'd be good for banging or for marrying. And sorry, Justin. I know you're one of my biggest fans, and I'm really sorry about that. Alrighty, and then I think that I'm gonna have to end up marrying Justin Timberlake because he seems like he'd be a good husband. Yeah, now Jessica Biel looks pretty tough, but I th- you could take her. I could definitely take Jessica so. Biel. No offense, Jessica, but. And like Jessica and Justin, that's too many J's. Yeah, you definitely there need needs to be a Sarah. A Sarah, there. yeah, for sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bang Justin Long because I think he would just be like, you know, a very good lover. He'd like really pay attention to me. Yeah, I think so too. But you know, I feel like that could be a one and done thing and then we could cuddle and then be done. But Justin Timberlake, all right, okay. coming at you. <laughs> oh, I do have one more. I thought that was it. Nope, I get to do one more. All right, let's see. Angelina Jolie, Natalie Portman, and Jennifer Aniston. This is okay. a tough one. Sorry. <laughs> This is tough. Okay. Angelina Jolie and Jennifer Aniston, I know, you know, obviously I don't know any of these women, just full disclosure. (laughs) But I know, I feel like I know a little bit more about them and their lives just because their lives Mm -hmm. have been involved. Now, Natalie Portman, I know her as an actress. Mm -hmm. I know the, the things that she's done, but I know next to nothing about her. I feel like that's a good sign, though. I feel like with celebrities, the less you know about them, like that's probably they have true. less drama. They're not trying to like be all in the light. Like Natalie's just kind of like a chill girl. Okay. Know? All right. So I'm marrying Natalie. <laughs> it's a great option. All right. Good. Because I don't really like high maintenance. Yeah. And um, Angelina Jolie. You know, I don't know all the details, but that whole thing with her and. Ending up with Jennifer Aniston's husband was a little shady. So between the two of them, I'm going to be team Jennifer. And so Angelina is dead. So sorry. And I do really like her as an actor. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's going to be bang Jennifer Aniston, marry Natalie Portman, and Angelina Jolie is out of here. So that's it. (laughs) (laughs) So what did you think about Valentine's Bang, Mary Kill? I thought it was really good. I'm happy that you included a lot of my favorite shows. Yeah. It's very relevant for me. Um, and they were they were hard decisions, so good job. Nice. Mm-hmm. Well, what did you think about Valentine's Bang Mary Kill? Let us know in the comments below. And please subscribe because you know we'd love to see you again. Do you want to say until next time? Yeah, sure. All right. One, three, two, one. <laughs> until next time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we saying it together or am I just no, saying No, you're going to do it. <laughs> okay, we'll both do it. Three, two, one. Until, Until next time. time. If you two think that you guys fumbling that isn't going in the final <laughs> video, you are sorely mistaken. <laughs>